what kind of investment is required for a network operator or, or infrastructure operator to enter the CDN space these days? Is it a, is it a is there a way to do it bit by bit, or do you really have to dive in with a, with a big investment? Um, well, from our perspective, um, we would not be in this business if we wanted to do it starting from an organic point of view. We did an, uh, an acquisition uh, last year, and that company had um, the infrastructure in place um, to be able to develop a CDN, meaning they had the IP transit network, um, they had the, um, the peering capabilities, they had the, uh, the culture of software development uh, that's typically not present within a traditional telecom. That would be um, a Trotto. That would be a Trotto, yes. Okay. Um, and so it's, it's driven by that. Um, it, if we were to start from ground zero, it, um, given, given what our business objectives are, it, it would have been a very difficult equation for us. Um, the investment basically boils down to, we believe, the, the first building block is you have to have a very large IP network, otherwise you'll never get the um, economies of scale to be able to do it um, effectively. Um, and that, that was one of the things that Atrato had. The second thing is you have to have the software uh, capability, uh, the development capability. Um, when we took apart the entire stack uh, that's involved with the CDN, um, we, we saw that you know the difference between um, you know beating the you know Akamai or whomever fastly um, beating them to um, a faster and more capable system wasn't a function of just let's go get a, a server platform and let's put some 10 gig NICs in it and let's um, you know build up a, a you know Linux kernel and things like that. It's much more intensive than that. Um, you have to essentially look at every component of the ecosystem and completely rewrite it. And you have to have a mindset that every, every millisecond counts. Um, and uh, you have to strip that, be able to see where it's occurring and strip it out. Um, and, then, and then have the capital resources to be able to deploy and scale. Um, and, and that was some of the things that Atrato brought to us that opened our eyes to, hey, this is a thing that we can do as a stepping stone to things that we already do. We can leverage the, the hand that we've been dealt, both from a Hibernia perspective in terms of having the network that it had, the Atrato perspective in terms of the capabilities that it brought to the table, and looking at you know kind of the, the full equation and saying, okay, this, we can do this. We have the salespeople who can, you know, bring in the, the demand and we have the capabilities to be able to serve a quality product. And Mark, your uh, um, in-house effort is an entirely different type of investment, right? Uh, well, yes. It's um, Again, we're not trying to do things on the scale uh, to, let's say, you know, compete directly with or replace uh, you know, the, top, the top three. So um, we're, we're, a, lot of, a lot of what we're doing is, is data content that would not necessarily be on a CDM otherwise. Um, so the, the infrastructure requirements are a bit less than, than if we were to be supporting millions of video files and that, things of that nature. So what we're doing is serving content that might already just be originating from one point and, and moving out to multiple points uh, and you know, doing it by region. Um, and because uh, a service like this is scalable, um, expanding uh, or adding capacity to a certain market can be done you know, on demand with a little, little delay. Um, so you don't need to do uh, a rollout of, uh, you know, uh, with a lot of zeros behind it. So that, that helps the, the initial uh, rollout for us. I, and, I, and I wouldn't disagree with that. I think, I think what we're seeing in a lot of cases, um, particularly as we um, uh, talk to customers at the, uh, the NAB show, which is a, a very large media industry show this past uh, spring, um, so many of our customers are, are have this mindset of why not? Um, why not peel back the layers, see what's in the box, see what's happening? Um, and a lot of times they're finding that, hey, there's not a lot of magic going on in the, uh, in the hardware solution. Let's do it ourselves. And so the do it, I, I wouldn't call it necessarily pure do it yourselves, but the idea that you're getting further into the stack and understanding what the capabilities are and whether that matches with your organizational capabilities and things you've already made an investment in, I think I think that probably is kind of the decision point that you guys made and certainly one that we made was, hey, this is you know, there's not a lot of magic here. Let's 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 do it. But there, you know, you, you do have to set a corporate objective in terms of what what do you what is it that you realistically think you can achieve um, with the amount of investment that you're willing to put forward. 